Hello everyone, it's Nicola from Autochroma. Today I will introduce you Plumpack, our new product for Premiere Pro. This new tool will help you minimize and organize your Premiere Pro project and media. Plumpack does almost the same job as the native Premiere Pro project manager, but with less bugs and more features, especially the ability to trim your files without re-encoding, but I will come back to this later on this video. Let me explain first quickly what the Premiere Pro Project Manager is to more understand why you will need Plumpack. As you can see, there are two main different options in the Project Manager. One to collect and copy the media of your project, so everything will be at the same place. The second one takes only the used part of the media in your timeline and encodes all those parts to the same global codec. It's a really useful tool when you want to move your project from one station to another, or for backup. The first problem of the project manager is that it works perfectly for some people, but for others there are some bugs and the process doesn't work entirely, or even not at all. The second problem is that there is no option to reduce the size of the used media and keep the same codec and quality as your original files. This is what we call trimming, and this is what you can do with Plumpack. You should definitely want to remove the part of your files that you would never use. And you could prefer to not change your codecs and not change the quality. For example, it could be really useful for the ones who work with raw footage such as Blackmagic Raw, Red or ProRes Raw, because you will prefer to stay with the same codec and keep the power of the source settings of your files. So now that you understand the real power of Plumpack, let's dig a bit into the details. So you will need first to set the options for the Plumpack process. There are two main sections, one for trimming and the second one for cleaning. You can have details about any parameter by clicking on it. It will show the documentation part dealing with those options. So for example here, I'll add the trimming enabled I add more frames before and after the actual use part, so if I come later I will be able to refine and for example make my clip begin a little bit before the actual in point. I let the other problems add their default values. As I imported a lot of stuff in the project, but there are things that I'm not using finally, I prefer let the removed unused items enabled. And finally, for this little project, I don't have so much sequences, so this last option is not interesting for me. But for bigger projects, you could want to export only a part of the project, and you can do this from here by selecting the main timeline you want to export. Only clips and items which are inside this main timeline, or in sub-subsequence, or in subsequence of subsequence, and so on, will be in the final exported project and everything else will be removed. So once you have set up your options, you are now ready to process your project. But first, you can get a quick idea of what is going to happen of your project by running the analysis button. You can get this analysis for free without any license. So just download and install Plumpack, then run the analysis on your project, and you will be able to know how much data you could save how many unused items you have, and what will happen to each file independently by running Plumpack. Once you launch the consolidation process, you should not change anything in your project or close Premiere Pro. For now, Plumpack can't be run in background, but this is one of the improvements we thought about and which could be implemented in the future. Any media which can't be trimmed or fail to be trimmed will be copied instead. The trimmed media are also controlled to be sure no important properties changed or have been removed by our trim engine. At the end of the rule process, you get a detailed report of what happened to your media. For example, some metadata could have been changed or removed from your trimmed file. But you will be able to check in this report all this kind of change. Better than the project manager, which places every media at the root of the final project folder, Plumback will construct the final folder structure based on the bin structure in Premiere Pro. For now, it's the only available option, 
but we want to add in a future release an option to build this final media structure from the original structure on your hard drive. In order to process Primpack, two different licenses are available, basic and premium. The difference is quite simple. The basic license is cheaper, but you cannot trim with it. You can only copy your files. So you will need the premium license to be able to trim. This video is about to end and you can have more information about the plugin in our website. It's just the beginning of Plumpack and we already planned a lot of awesome new features to come. If you want to have all the news about Plumpack, you can subscribe on the Autochroma page on Facebook or Twitter. If something is missing for you in Plumpack, please contact us and tell us your needs. We hope you enjoyed the video and that Plumpack will help you in your workflow to get more efficient projects.